Ottawa Police Guns and Gangs Unit is investigating an overnight shooting outside a Hintonburg bar. A known gang associate was shot twice, 30 minutes after closing time. Officers responded to a shooting outside the Vibe Lounge on Somerset Street just after 2.30 this morning. A short time later, the Ottawa Hospital Civic Campus reported a 22-year-old man was in the emergency room suffering from gunshot wounds to his shoulder and abdomen. Police say the victim told investigators he was having a cigarette on the patio when he was shot twice. We will hear from the Bloc Québécois MP today who was expelled from caucus after she criticized Quebec's proposed Charter of Values. Maria Morani claimed the legislation would hurt the sovereignty's cause. Morani says the Parti Québécois proposal risks undoing all the work that the independence movement, movement did during courting minority groups. The PQ's plan would forbid Quebec's public employees from wearing visible religious symbols at work. The Ontario government says people affected by possible errors in reading CT scans and mammograms are being properly informed. The Trillium Health Partner says possible errors were made by a radiologist on tests conducted from April 2012 through last March. Officials admit they learned in March about the possible errors with 3,500 tests, but waited until Wednesday night to go public with the concerns. Health Minister Deb Matthews says the problems were caught by routine internal procedures and people should have confidence in the health care system. The provincial committee will hold public hearings next week on legislation banning teenagers from tanning beds. Bill 30 would ban the sale of tanning services to people under the age of 18 and regulate the sale and marketing of tanning services. The legislature committee says it intends to hold public hearings in Toronto on September 18. The fate of Darwin the Ikea monkey will be decided today. Darwin has been in the care of a primate sanctuary since he was found at a Toronto Ikea store last December wearing a shearling coat. His owner took the, san took the sanctuary to court back in June in the hopes of getting her pet back. She says she was tricked into giving up Darwin to animal services. Firefighters continue to pour water on hot spots after a fire destroyed a large section of the iconic Jersey Shore boardwalk. The blaze erupted yesterday on a newly rebuilt boardwalk in two seaside New Jersey resort towns previously hit by Superstorm Sandy. It started in the area of a frozen custard stand on the seaside park portion of the boardwalk and winds quickly fanned those flames. The six alarm fire destroyed more than 50 local businesses and caused millions of dollars in damage. There is no word on the cause. Thousands of people in the city of Boulder, Colorado are being urged to evacuate as heavy rain raises concerns about flooding. Lost roads, we've lost bridges, we've lost homes, cars. At least three people are dead after 24 hours of heavy rain sent water levels on creeks to dangerous levels. The flooding hit areas blackened by recent wildfires in several Colorado mountain communities. Up to 177 millimeters has fallen with more rain expected in the forecast. And Ottawa's Shopify is being asked to help businesses beef up their online commerce. The Retail Council of Canada is enlisting the help of Shopify in the hopes of providing a shot in the arm to Canadian stores that are struggling with electronic business. The council says there is a need for merchants to look at their business and figure out a way to build e-commerce sales. The council will launch the online initiative at Shopify Ottawa's headquarters next Thursday.